Have you ever wondered what happens inside an espresso factory? Most coffee lovers press a button and enjoy their perfect espresso without realizing the technological marvel behind each capsule. There's a secret world of precision engineering that transforms raw coffee beans into those iconic aluminum pods. Today, we're taking you behind closed doors to witness the complete journey of an espresso pod from coffee cherries growing in Highland Farms to the hermetically sealed capsules that preserve complex flavors. What you're about to see has rarely been documented, revealing proprietary technology that makes Nespresso's manufacturing process unlike any other coffee production system in the world. Look closely at this Nespresso pod. Its sleek aluminum exterior appears deceptively simple. But what you're really holding is an engineering marvel designed with microscopic precision. The capsule's mirror-like finish conceals a sophisticated design that solves multiple challenges simultaneously. Each pod represents the culmination of decades of research and development dedicated to a single purpose, delivering a perfect espresso experience every time you press that button. The aluminum capsule serves as the first guardian of coffee quality. While it might seem like a basic container, this metal shell is specifically engineered to create an oxygen-free environment that preserves the aromatic compounds in the coffee. Oxygen is the natural enemy of freshness, triggering oxidation that degrades flavor molecules and produces that stale taste we associate with old coffee. The hermetic seal of these capsules creates a barrier that keeps oxygen out and aroma in, allowing Nespresso to guarantee freshness for months, not just days. What's truly remarkable about these pods is their ability to withstand extreme conditions. When inserted into a Nespresso machine, the capsule experiences pressure reaching 19 bars, nearly 19 times atmospheric pressure at sea level. This immense force would crush or burst most containers, yet these thin aluminum shells maintain their integrity throughout the brewing process. The engineering challenge isn't just building something strong, but something precisely strong enough to withstand pressure while still allowing controlled puncturing during brewing. The journey of a Nespresso capsule begins as a thin aluminum sheet, typically sourced from certified suppliers who provide food-grade metal of exact specifications. These sheets feed into high-speed stamping presses that transform the flat metal into the iconic pod shape through a multi-stage forming process. These production lines operate at astonishing speeds, with modern facilities capable of stamping over 20,000 capsules per hour. That's more than five capsules every second each one identical to the micrometer. Once formed, the capsules undergo a critical but often overlooked step, the application of a food-grade lacquer coating to the interior. This transparent layer serves multiple purposes. First, it prevents any direct contact between the aluminum and the coffee, eliminating the possibility of metallic tastes seeping into your brew. Second, it enhances the capsule's barrier properties against not just oxygen, but also moisture and light, both of which can degrade coffee quality. The coating is applied with absolute precision, measured in microns, to ensure uniform coverage without adding unnecessary weight. The dimensions of each capsule are maintained within extraordinarily tight tolerances. The aluminum shell measures only about 0.1 millimeters thick, roughly the width of a human hair. This precise thickness is crucial for the pod's functionality. Too thick, and the machine's needle would struggle to puncture it properly. Too thin, and it might rupture under brewing pressure. Each capsule must have exactly the right dimensions to fit securely in the brewing chamber and allow for optimal water flow through the ground coffee. A feature that truly sets official Nespresso capsules apart is the patented silicon gasket integrated into the underside of the pod. This seemingly minor component creates the perfect seal during the brewing process, ensuring water flows through the coffee grounds rather than around them. This apparently simple rubber ring has proven remarkably difficult for third-party manufacturers to replicate effectively, demonstrating how even small details significantly impact the final cup quality. After inspection, the empty capsules travel along conveyors to the next stage of production. The manufacturing floor hums with the rhythmic movement of thousands of pristine pods, each one poised to receive its precise measure of ground coffee. The capsules must be absolutely clean and free of any contaminants, as even microscopic particles could affect the flavor profile of the final product. The manufacturing process incorporates proprietary stamping technology that ensures dimensions are consistent to within micrometers. These incredibly tight tolerances are essential for perfect extraction during brewing, where water distribution through the coffee grounds determines flavor balance. The precision of these measurements exceeds what's visible to the naked eye, requiring specialized equipment for quality control verification throughout production. As we follow the production line, 
The empty capsules enter a specialized chamber filled with nitrogen gas. This inert environment displaces oxygen, preparing the capsules for filling without risking oxidation of the coffee once it's added. The nitrogen-flushed capsules wait momentarily before entering the filling station, where they'll receive their cargo of precisely ground coffee beans, continuing their transformation from simple metal containers into vessels of flavor. Those nitrogen-flushed capsules are about to receive their precious cargo, but the journey of coffee beans to your Nespresso pod begins long before they reach the filling station. Behind each capsule lies a global expedition spanning multiple continents, where only the highest quality beans make the cut. At the Nespresso factory, 60 kilograms bags arrive with detailed labels documenting their origin, grade, and traceability information a passport of sorts for these premium beans. Before any bean becomes part of an espresso blend, it must pass the scrutiny of expert technicians who meticulously assess each batch. They examine the physical condition of the beans, note any defects, and evaluate the complex aroma profiles. This rigorous selection process ensures that only beans meet an espresso's exacting standards continue to the next phase. The approved beans wait in ventilated warehouses, carefully protected from moisture and pests, until they're ready for their transformation. The magic truly begins in the roasting chamber, an environment that requires precision that would impress even the most demanding scientists. Nespresso's industrial-sized roasters feature double-walled rotating drums heated to temperatures between 370 and 540 degrees Fahrenheit, 188 and 282 degrees Celsius. As these massive drums rotate, Internal paddles continuously tumble the beans to prevent scorching and ensure perfectly even heat distribution. What seems like a simple heating process is actually a carefully orchestrated ballet of time, temperature, and technique. Roasting duration varies dramatically, from 8 minutes for lighter profiles to 20 minutes for darker roasts, with each minute critically affecting the final flavor. The process transforms not just the color, but the entire chemical composition of the bean. It's worth noting that roasting duration significantly impacts caffeine content. Contrary to popular belief, lighter roasts actually retain more caffeine than darker ones, though the latter deliver more robust flavors. Throughout this process, skilled roasters monitor not just instruments, but also listen attentively to the beans themselves, as the sounds they make reveal crucial information about their development. Once the beans achieve their ideal roast profile, they're quickly transferred to a specialized cooling tray. Here, a powerful fan blows air from below, while rotating arms gently swirl the beans for 5 to 10 minutes. This rapid cooling is critical. It immediately halts the roasting process, locking in the optimal flavor compounds and preventing overdevelopment. The precision at this stage helps maintain the consistent quality that Nespresso customers expect with every cup. The cooled beans then enter perhaps the most technologically advanced part of the entire production the grinding phase. Nespresso's proprietary grinding technology achieves something seemingly counterintuitive, a grind that's finer than many competitors while still allowing for fast brewing times. The specialized conical burr grinders create particles with remarkably precise size distribution, with fewer fines, particles under 30 microns, that could impede extraction. This precision grinding is a key factor in why Nespresso pods can extract so efficiently in such a short brewing cycle. After grinding, each batch undergoes another round of quality control checks using advanced sensors and high-speed cameras that analyze the coffee with microscopic precision. These systems verify uniform color, perfect particle size, and ideal moisture content, parameters that might seem insignificant but make the difference between an exceptional cup and a mediocre one. The ground coffee then moves to the filling station where automated auger machines measure exactly five to seven grams into each capsule with astonishing accuracy. The precision here is remarkable. If you were to line up 1,000 filled capsules, the weight difference between all of them would be less than that of a single paperclip. This level of consistency requires split-second timing as capsules move through production at breathtaking speeds. The filled capsules advance toward the sealing station, where they'll receive their aluminum lid. But before that final step, each one gets a final flush of nitrogen gas that displaces any remaining oxygen. This seemingly small detail ensures the coffee remains fresh and aromatic for months by preventing oxidation that would degrade those carefully preserved flavor compounds. As we've tracked the journey of Nespresso's iconic pods from raw materials to finished product, one question remains. What happens after we enjoy our coffee? Nespresso promotes its aluminum pods as 100% recyclable, establishing collection programs across 53 countries through drop-off locations, mailback programs, and retail partnerships. Their sustainability efforts extend beyond recycling, 
to include the AAA Sustainable Quality Program, which partners with farmers to promote sustainable practices. Your. Yet despite these initiatives, global recycling rates for Nespresso pods remain below 30%. This gap between potential and practice represents the final challenge in the Nespresso story, a technological marvel that still seeks its environmental resolution.